Hello, my name is Jeff Yelton. This is another episode in the series of What's in the Box from the Two-Way Radio Center. Today we're going to talk about the Motorola CLS 1110. Also the 11, I mean the 1410. These are the two main radios in the CLS line from Motorola uh, Business Two-Way Radios. There is a third radio, um, but it is uh, not just a two-way radio. It's a two-way radio and a, a phone, and we're not going to talk about that. So we're going to talk about the two main radios, once again, the CLS 1110 and the 1410. They are basically the same radios. That's why I only have the uh, CLS uh, uh, 1110 here with us. That's what I'm going to open the box on and show you what's inside of it. Uh, the 1410 would have basically the same uh, products inside of the box. Uh, the difference between the two, the 1410 is a four-channel radio. Um, they're both one-watt radios, which would give you a coverage of about 200,000 square feet up to about uh, 15 stories. Uh, but the uh, 1110 is a, a one-channel radio, the 1410 is a four-channel radio. In addition to that, there are two other main features that the 1410 has. Um, it has uh, something that is called Vibra Call Alert. Uh, Vibra Call Alert is when um, somebody's calling you and, and the uh, uh, radio actually vibrates to let you know that there's a call coming in so you don't have uh, the noise uh, coming out if you're in an environment that you don't want that uh, noise to come out. Uh, it also has something called... Um, uh, advanced voice activation. In advanced voice activation, um, you actually have to have another accessory to go along with this, but what it does is it allows you to be able to speak uh, without having to push the uh, push to talk button uh, to make it uh, uh, to make you have the ability to communicate over the radio. So those are the main differences between the uh, uh, 1110 and the 1410, um, but other than that, what's in the box is uh, pretty much exactly the same. So this is the box, uh, and as I said, this is the uh, CLS 1110 uh, from Motorola. Um, uh, Motorola has the uh, uh, the uh, tag that they put on it that has the serial number and the uh, model number uh, on the side. And then you open it up. It's a clamshell box, and you open it up just like that. And uh, right at the when you open it, you've got the battery. I mean, I'm sorry, the radio. And I'm going to set that aside and come back to it. Uh, and the on the inside. We'll start off with the uh, documentation. The first is the warranty and registration card, which you want to make sure that you fill out. And then you also have the uh, user's guide um, for uh, the radio. Very easy to uh, understand, very easy to read, and I would suggest that you'd want to read through all of that because this radio has a lot of uh, functionality on it to, to, to be such a, a small radio. So this is the radio. Um, and I'm going to take the uh, belt clip off of it. We'll come back to that in just a minute. But this is the radio right here. Uh, the radio is uh, very, uh, very small. It's about 5.8 inches um, from top to bottom. Uh, it's about 2 inches width, and it's about 1.1 1 .1, uh, inches in depth. So it's a very small radio. Um, when you're looking at the front of it, uh, the first thing you see is the big push-to-talk button that resides right there in the middle. Um, and then you have the LCD display. You have the plus and minus buttons, which is if you're facing, let's do it like this so you can see, uh, on the right, the plus and minus buttons. If this was the 1410 and it was a four-channel radio, that's how you would change between the different channels. But since this is the... Um, 1110, then you use the plus and minus buttons to uh, to help program and, and, and change the different uh, uh, options that you have on the radio. This is the menu button. You have the monitor button. And then on the left side, as you're facing the radio, uh, you have the tone, the call tone. Uh, on the uh, 1110, you have one tone. On the 1410, you have three tones. And then at the top, you have the on-off button and the volume button right here. In the middle, you'll have a little light that comes on to let you know that uh, when the battery comes on. It's going to be very difficult to see, but right here, there's two little notches in the back of the top of the radio, and that's where you would hook the lanyard if you were going to uh, use a lanyard and just have it hanging around your neck. And then, obviously, you have the uh, antenna. And then on the 
Um, right side is you're facing over here. Uh, you have a little flap, a little piece of rubber that covers the areas, um, it covers the two ports that would allow you to put in a microphone or a headset and they go in right there on the side. So let me close that back up. On the back, right below this circle, you have a little thumb indention area. And if you just push down on that thumb indention area and push back, the back cover of the radio comes off. And so what we'll do is we'll get the battery. This is a lithium ion battery. Uh, when it's fully charged, you'll have about 12 hours of use with this radio. On the uh, back of the radio, I mean, I'm sorry, on the back of the um, battery, there are the gold um, contact points. You take those gold contact points, and when you're holding the, the radio up and down, there's some gold contacts in the back side of the radio. You just drop, drop the battery in, push it like that, and the battery snaps in. You take the back plate, you lay it over the top. It's got just a little hook right there, and it's going to snap in there, and you've got the radio ready to go. And you can turn on the radio right here, and you can see the LED light uh, at the top to tell you that the uh, battery came on. I'm going to turn that back off so we don't use up the battery. You also have the um, belt clip. This is the belt clip. It's got a wide bottom and a fairly small top. Um, it also has the belt clip that goes on the back. And then this holder actually has a revolving uh, belt clip so that you can change the radio to whatever angle you want it on your body. Um, you take the radio, the bottom side of the radio, and the bottom part, the wide part of the clip, you drop that in, and you snap that on, and it is ready to go. Also in the box, you have a charger. This is a single station charger. The, um, uh, the radio also has a, a, an additional charger that is a multi-station charger that you can buy for this radio, but what comes in the box is this single station radio. Uh, in the large hole area is where the radio goes when you're charging it. Let me just take the belt clip off. And uh, you can see that that goes right there, goes in the radio. And then you also have a slot back on the back where you can charge an additional battery if you want to. You have a, a standard, or at least standard for the United States, 120-volt uh, power cord. This is the power cord. It's got a round tip on the end of it. You take that round tip, you stick it in the middle, and you plug that into your receptacle, and it's ready to go. And let me just set that radio up right there. Uh, one of the other things this radio has, um, it has the um, something called uh, eliminator codes. And what eliminator codes are, uh, when you have a uh, multiple radios that are in the same geographic area, maybe all in the same warehouse, and you want to speak privately with somebody, but you only have either one channel in this case, or with the 1410 you have four channels, you can use eliminator codes to actually have a private conversation with somebody. So. Even if I was on this radio with one channel and I was the uh, warehouse manager and I wanted to talk to one person, maybe in receiving specifically, we could have an eliminator code on my radio and their radio set so that when I pushed to talk with that uh, eliminator code, I'd be able to talk directly with them. It comes in very, very handy uh, in a business environment when you want to talk very specifically to uh, one person. That's it. Uh, that's the uh, Motorola CLS line of radios, and specifically the one that I opened up was the CLS 1110. Um, great radio, very durable radio. Uh, I believe it's probably the, um, I think I heard this, is. I'm fairly certain with this, that it's the um, best-selling business two-way radio that Motorola uh, makes, so that you can tell that uh, it's got a long history and is a, is a great radio. That's it. Um, I'm Jeff Yelton, and this is What's in the Box, uh, sponsored by the Two-Way Radio Center. Thank you.